My name is Molly Niedermeyer. I'm a naturopathic physician and a licensed midwife. I graduated from Bastyr University. It was not called that when I graduated. It was called John Bastyr College of Naturopathic Medicine. I graduated in 1984 in the third graduating class. At that time, I also was participatory in making it into a midwifery school so that we could actually be licensed as midwives when we graduated from naturopathic school. The reason for that is because in the state of Washington, we're not allowed to participate in the delivery of children without being a midwife. So we had to make it into a midwifery school so that I could do full family practice. I've practiced in the Seattle area those entire 31 years. I have a large family practice, naturopathic practice, with five additional physicians at this time. It gets bigger and smaller depending on where my needs are. The thing that I really pride myself in is that uh, that I see, I embody the principles of naturopathic medicine on a daily basis, one of them being docera, which means to teach. So my entire purpose as a physician is to teach people how to take better care of themselves and therefore become better clients. That's another thing that distinguishes me. My, I have patients and I have clients. Clients are people to me that are coming and seeking advice to improve their own. They hire somebody to give them advice. Patients are people that at some point in their life need to give up their personal responsibility to somebody they trust because they're feeling so bad that they just want somebody to make those decisions. And I will take those roles on depending on what my patient or client needs at the time. I personally have been both a patient and a client. I recently was diagnosed with breast cancer and at points in my healing process was truly a patient of many people saying, just tell me what to do. I don't mind doing that with my clients because sometimes you just don't, you want someone to make those decisions. But bottom line is I'm trying to educate people to make their own educated decisions. And to teach them that nothing is random, that things in your life happen for a reason, um, and the body's gonna give you louder and louder messages to you pay attention. So even with my own cancer journey, I, I won't be somebody that will tell you that I was grateful I had cancer. I will tell you that I am grateful for the lessons that cancer gave me, and I wish I'd learned the lessons in an e easier fashion, but that's not what my body did. Your body will make the wisest decision it can at any moment, Every second your body's making the wisest decision it can. And so our job as both naturopathic physicians and as you as a human being is to give the body the best choices and the best building blocks and the best options it can in order to have optimal health. So I want people, one of the questions I ask my um, patients, clients, is what prevents you from being in optimal health? And that's what I'm here to help unravel for somebody is what, what's not what's wrong with you, but what prevents you from being in optimal health. So if health is defined as freedom from limitations, what's limiting you? And that's both physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being because those things all can limit you. Who I am as a person, I have two children myself. I have two children I, that I gave birth to and four stepchildren. I have one grandchild. I, my life is full. It's not just around the medicine, although I eat, live, breathe naturopathic medicine and everything I do because it is about living in the world in balance. And, I, and I'm here to learn from everybody I interact with. I think that's another thing that goes on in my practice with my doctors and my students and the patients that come to my office is that I assume that we're all doing the best we can and if we're not, what is the skill set or the information or the resources you need to be the best person you can be. I think the greatest gift I've ever given is my children. Um, you know, my mother always said that she learned more from us than we ever, than she ever taught us. I think that's true for me personally. And part of docera or to teach part of the principles of naturopathic medicine is not just in the individual that I interact with, but the that the students and the doctors I have in my clinic. My clinic um, it has a mission, and the mission of my clinic is to provide an environment for my workforce to be healthy. It's to provide competent, compassionate, economical health care for anybody that wants to be there. 
it, um, it's to educate for future nature paths because we are a small profession, much bigger than, I graduated in class of 25, they graduate classes of 200 now, so that's significantly different. So those missions are being met. I have, because of that mission, a three-pronged three access to health care in my office. There's me, and I charge cash. I have a couple physicians that actually take um, third-party reimbursement or insurance, and I have a low-income clinic. That way that people who are economically disadvantaged are, can get health care at a reasonable price. In, in, with that in mind, I've gotten supplement companies to donate supplements. I've gotten labs to donate labs so that anybody should be able to be accessible to naturopathic health care if they want to improve their own health. Um, and that's the mission of Emerald City Clinic, which is what I started yeah, 31 years ago.